Well, what's up, future millionaires? It's your boy, Mike the Investor. And today I got a well anticipated video for you, new crypto investors. I'm going to show you how to transfer Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies from the Coinbase app over to the Voyager app. So definitely stay with me to the end of the video. So if you haven't used neither one of these apps yet, Coinbase or Voyager, definitely grab you some free Bitcoin by using my links down below. And let's get ready to dive right into it. All right, crypto investors, welcome back to the channel. Now, not only am I gonna show you how to transfer Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies from Coinbase to Voyager, but I'm also gonna show you how to transfer from Voyager over to Coinbase, so that way you guys are fully equipped on how to use both of these crypto platforms. Because just a key note, you definitely wanna have more than one crypto exchange that you can buy and sell and cash out on. Even if you may dislike Coinbase or dislike Voyager or Uphold or these different crypto exchanges out here, you want to have an account with multiple because if one goes down, you have another way to buy your cryptocurrencies. So definitely hold on to that gold nugget. But let's dive into it. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to transfer from Coinbase over to Voyager, but we are currently on the Voyager app. So right now we're going to go into the portfolio and I'm going to transfer over Bitcoin. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to click on my Bitcoin portfolio and then we're going to hit transfer. All right. And then what we're going to do here, since we want to deposit Bitcoin into this uh, Voyager app wallet here, we want to hit deposit. OK, and now it's going to show you you have the QR option where you can actually scan it and, and it will copy it or you can hit this copy button up here so it copies it to your clipboard. Now, rather if you're using an Android or an Apple device, you will have the ability to copy this to your clipboard and also verify this as well because you don't want to send this to the wrong address because you will not be able to get it back. All right, so we're gonna hit copy here. So now you can see it is copied to my clipboard. We're gonna hit the cancel button. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to the Coinbase app, all right? So we're gonna scroll up. And now we're gonna go into Coinbase. So I already have, you know, my Bitcoin wallet pulled up, but if you're first getting into Coinbase, it's gonna look like this and it's gonna show you, you know, your portfolio balance and all the other cryptocurrencies that you have on the watch list. So we're gonna go back to portfolio. And now what we're gonna do, we can see Bitcoin is kind of rising right now. So this is actually pretty fun to see as we're recording this video. So to get to the option where we can send or receive Bitcoin, you have to click on the BTC wallet. So once we click on this now it's going to take us inside of this bitcoin wallet which will have all of your transactions and all of that so you can see in the top right corner you're going to have an arrow pointing this way which is that's what we're going to use to send but before we click on that guys you right next to the arrow icon you have the qr code so if i click on that that's going to uh, show you the public addresses where you can receive Bitcoin and actually send, you know, Bitcoin to Coinbase, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. So we're going to exit out of this and now we're going to hit the send option. And now it gives you the ability you can send it in dollar amount or you can send it by quantity amount. So if you hit the arrow, now I can send it by the Bitcoin amount but I'm going to do it in dollars because it'd be easier. So I'm just going to hit the send all guys. And now you can see it's thirty one dollars and sixty one cents. You want to hit the continue. And now on Coinbase, this will always pop up. You can hit view contracts if you're sending it to someone uh, personally or if you have your current wallet saved in here for quick access. I'm going to hit not now and you can put a note in here. So say, for example, this is your first crypto transfer. You can hit, you know, first crypto transfer. I'm not going to put all that in. And then what you want to do here at the top part, you want to hit the two. So now you want to paste it in here. So you want to make sure this is validated and you can see I've already sent to this address before, but make sure it's validated and make sure this matches. So once you hit preview here, guys, it's going to show you where it's sending it to. It's going to show you how much is being sent to that wallet, the network fee. And then at the bottom down there, keep in mind, there is going to take a little time for Bitcoin to get over to that wallet. This is estimated about 30 minutes. Now, granted, it can take a little bit longer than this. So just keep that in mind. OK, so we're going to hit send now. And now I have a two step verification, so I will highly recommend set up a two step verification. So I already have it programmed to my phone, so I can just go ahead and copy it in there real quick. We're going to hit submit. And now you can see 
is going to be sent over to the Voyager app. So now you can see that it is sent to a Bitcoin address and it is pending. So if I click on this briefly, this is gonna show you where it's sending it to, the network fee that is taken, and then also the date and time and the amount that is going to take. Now, when this is completed, you're gonna see that yellow pending dot, it is going to be green. Now, while we are waiting on Bitcoin to hit the Voyager app, I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer over from you know Voyager over to Coinbase if you wanted to, since now we know how to transfer from Coinbase to Voyager. All right, so let's go back over to Voyager here briefly. All right, guys, so now let's see how to transfer from Voyager over to Coinbase. So we're gonna go out my Bitcoin uh, wallet here, and we're just gonna scroll down to a potential crypto that I will send over to Coinbase. Now keep in mind, Coinbase does have to support the cryptocurrency and Voyager has to support the cryptocurrency that you are trying to send. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna scroll down to ETC briefly and now I'm just gonna uh, act like I'm going to send this over. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the transfer button and what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit withdraw. So if I hit withdraw here, you can see at the top right, this is gonna show you where I will put the address to um, withdraw how much ETC I wanna take out. So I just wanted to show you guys that before I went back to Coinbase. So we're gonna hit cancel briefly, and now let's go over to Coinbase, all right? All right, so now what we're gonna do next, we're gonna go inside of our ETC wallet on Coinbase. So you hit ETC wallet, and now what you wanna do is hit that QR code, and you wanna hit the copy wallet address, all right? So we're gonna hit copy here, and we're gonna go right back over to Voyager, all right? So now we are still in our Ethereum Classic wallet, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit transfer, all right? And what we're gonna do, since we wanna send ETC from Voyager over to Coinbase, we wanna hit withdraw, all right? So we hit withdraw, and then let's say I just wanna send one over there. All right, it's gonna show you the amount currently. And what I would do, I'm gonna put the address in there. You can see it is pasted over from Coinbase. And what I would do is just slide it to with, um, draw that and it will be sent over in the estimated time to Coinbase. But I'm not gonna do that because I do wanna keep my ETC right on Voyager. All right guys, so now my Bitcoin from Coinbase has now reached my Bitcoin wallet on the Voyager app. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the history at the top right, and you can see I have a deposit on the 4th of February, which is what we did today. If we go in, you're gonna see deposit, the source of course is blockchain, the amount, which is 0.000804 Satoshis of Bitcoin, and then you can see it was cleared on February 4th, and then the time that it was cleared on. And so if you haven't used these two crypto platforms yet, Coinbase or Voyager, definitely consider grabbing you that free Bitcoin down below. Voyager is gonna give you free $25 in Bitcoin just for spending $100 on the platform. And then Coinbase will give you $10 free in Bitcoin when you spend $100 in Bitcoin on the platform. So definitely consider grabbing you that. Uh, hopefully I helped you out in this video. I've gotten a lot of comments. I've gotten a lot of personal DMs on Twitter and IG asking me, can you please show us how to transfer? Now I do have some more how-to videos on crypto coming up. So let me know down in the comment section what other crypto videos you would like to see for beginners. Also guys, if you haven't had a chance to follow me yet on Instagram or Twitter, definitely head over there and check me out at Mike the Investor. I also just made some new merch. I'm currently wearing this shirt right now. It is iHodl Crypto. I personally hold all five of these positions for the long term, not financial advice. It has Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, Ripple, and Stellar XLM. I personally hold all of these. These are uh, some of my largest positions, just being transparent with you in crypto. I definitely think these are the positions you should hold before diving into any other type of, you know, potential crypto plays. All right, crypto investors, I will see you at the top. Remember to stay inspired, stay motivated, always invest in yourself, and I'm out.